a little bit early, but goal of today's video is to have something for everybody of all age groups. So if you're just beginning to play goal, it's gonna cover on that. If maybe you're a little bit more elite, gonna have a little bit more detailed overall simplicity of just running a really, really clean game. So yeah. When we talk about basic principles of goaltending, a couple things probably come to mind. Butterfly, butterfly slide, and also backside push. Maybe you can't figure out how to do a butterfly. Maybe you're really, really struggling. This video is for you. If you're a little more advanced, maybe a little more elite, you can have some stuff later on in the video. Maybe fast forward a couple minutes. From last week with my goalie coach, working on some C cuts and pivots. One of the things I try to run is having my knees and shoulders all parallel on a similar line. Looks something like this. Basic butterfly, one of the things I see a lot of people doing is landing on the face of their pad. We want to land on the inside. We want to really be driving our knees forward to get that seal on the ice of the pads, right? So it looks something like this. Next step is a butterfly slide. You going to Starbucks this morning or what? This guy right there. We talk about something called a drop and drive. We drop that inside knee, drive through it. it looks something like this. Guys like Henrik Lundqvist and Jonathan Quick do it elite. Next part is the backside push. There can be times where you're coming up with partial loads and just using toe, or you can use the front two thirds of your skate. I prefer, obviously, if I can, to get the first third of my skate dug in for my edge angles right here and be able to push so I get a really good lateral push. But that's not saying that if you're down and you need a situational play where you only have to adjust, the leg can come up with just a toe and push just a little tiny bit, right? I would say that both toe and front third at least, or two thirds of your skate are both useful depending on situation. This will actually help us control slides. A lot of goalies just like to push with their body and push straight away, but there's not a lot of control in that slide. So if you can actually get your momentum pushing in, then draw it out where you want to stop. You can see you're gonna be able to control your slides more and you won't overslide positions as much. The more we can keep our chest in front of that puck, the harder it is for players to beat us on angles. So there are a couple of my inside tips for if you're beginning hockey, how to get into a butterfly, how to work a butterfly slide, a backside push, a lot of the fundamental, a lot of stuff is just a part of a foundation of being a goaltender. If you're an older guy, hopefully you picked up some good stuff from the rest of the skate. If you're an older guy, you're probably not gonna get much value out of the rest of this video, so if you want, click out and 
go back to doing whatever you're doing before you came here. To be successful with this stuff, it's about reps, it's about practice, the old saying, practice makes permanent, right? Sure shit, for my first ever butterfly slide to the butterfly slide you just saw on film, granted, yes, there's about 13, there, almost 13 years in between that time, but there's been a lot of reps to get that from a very awkward, bad, uncoordinated, almost unsalvageable butterfly slide or butterfly or backside push, whatever the case may be, to something that I use quite frequently and is effective a lot of the time. Now, even if you're a parent and you're like, damn, my, my kid can't get a butterfly, my kid can't figure it out, give it time. If you think about it this way, you know, your knees are not supposed to bend like that. Your knee's a hinge joint. It goes back and forth like this. It doesn't go out. All the various fundamentals that come into play that you have to get sunken up here, it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Whether you're a younger or an older guy, hopefully you're able to take something useful out of this and maybe you can apply it in your game or maybe make your day a little better, maybe give you a couple laughs. I don't know, maybe one of the three or maybe you just want to laugh at me as to how garbage I am most days. But anyway, thank you for watching and I got some news for you. Go to sidelineswap.com. I give you the sales pitch every week because it's effective. Go to the website, they got good deals. Yeah.